every day that we're alive is a gift, an absolute gift. Tomorrow may never come for any of us. I didn't have that perspective before. My name is Christine Gaida. I'm 37 years old. I have breast cancer. Push it back, come on Taylor, good job Megan. I am married to Mark Gaida. I have three kids, Kayla is 13. Throw it in, Megan! Megan is six. Good throw! Good throw, honey! And Faith is three. I'm stage four, invasive ductal carcinoma. Grade three and also um, triple negative, which is a much more rare type of breast cancer. Megan, how's your helmet feel? Does that feel okay? I did bilateral mastectomy with immediate reconstruction, and then I did six months of very aggressive chemotherapy. And then I thought that I was on the road to recovery. I felt good. Went in for my six month routine checkup, and it was widespread in the bone. Obviously, my initial thoughts was that, you know, I'm gonna die of breast cancer. Your water's over here. You're afraid to hope. Right here. And you're afraid not to hope. It fell down off the bench. But you know that there's hope. My strength comes from her strength. Good job, honey. Any stretch of the imagination, what I may be going through is nothing compared to what she's facing. So her strength in, in turn builds up my strength, which then uh, balances us out. So when she's having tough days, I'm able to be there for 100%. Everybody has to have something that gives them strength or they won't make it. My husband and, and my kids give me strength. And my biggest source of strength is God and my faith. To be honest, I don't ever doubt the fact that she will be healed. Let's do this one. This is like a dirty blonde. Christine's been one of those standouts in Michelle's place. And I say that because she brings a real fight and fire. I mean, she's one of those people who walks in, her smile lights up the room. Let's do this one. This is like a dirty blonde. I think they kind of know me as the wig girl. <laughs> I was referred to Michelle's place, I think the day that I was diagnosed. And so I went and uh, walked in the door and the diagnosis had just come and I opened the door and here are these women um, who just knew. I mean, as soon as I saw them and they saw me, they just knew. And it was, um, I just felt an overwhelming amount of support as soon as I walked in the door. <laughs> I go there for support and then okay, use the do. wigs yeah. oh, as a way to just fine. make light of the situation, you know? And they're always there just to cheer me on and Definitely. offer mini hugs and hope. And I have a little bit growing back. Oh, you do. <laughs> she little, little is so open to sharing and she's so passionate about her journey and fighting and uh, you know committed to um, to surviving to beating it and against all odds that's what she wants to do and that's her message I'm not letting it beat me no I can't let it beat me you know we're gonna beat this thing and we have hope we have faith um, that you're gonna be okay because that's what's gonna get us through this it's not given up Every woman is her own cure. Just because you have stage four cancer, I know many people that have gone into remission for years. Don't succumb to thinking that you're gonna be a statistic because I refuse to let them tell me that I'm gonna be a statistic. They can't tell me how long I have to live.